Okay, this is a basic review of specific heat and how you can do some common specific heat problems. So first off, specific heat is just the equations most related to it is Q is equal to MC delta T. Q is just heat in joules. Um, M is just mass in grams. And delta T is just a change in temperature. Uh, one temperature to another temperature. So first type of common problem you see is like this one, an aluminum tea kettle with a mass of 1.6 kilograms and containing 1.9 kilograms of water is placed on a stove. If no heat lo is lost to the surroundings, how much heat must be added to raise the temperature from 20 to 80 degrees Celsius? So in this problem, again, we're gonna use Q is equal to MC delta T, that's straightforward. A couple specific heat values we're going to need is a specific heat of aluminum, which is 0.9. Notice the units on this is joules per grams per Kelvin. Uh, luckily, we can leave it in Celsius because every one degree change in Celsius is the same as a one degree change in Kelvin, so we don't have to convert. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. We also need this specific heat of water, and these are common values you can look up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to find the Q of the kettle, specifically just the kettle. So when you set that up, notice that it's 1.6 kilograms and the values for the specific heat are in grams. So you got to convert the kilograms to grams. So you got to multiply that by 1,000 and you get 1,600. You multiply it by the C value, which is the specific heat of aluminum. And then we put in the change in temperature. It goes from 80 or from 20 to 80. That's the change. Um, next, we'll do the one for water. So it's very similar. All right, water is 1.9 kilograms. We'll convert that to grams. Specific heat of water is plugged in. Those are values. That's a value that's given, so you don't have to memorize it or anything. It's usually given. And then we do the same conversion going from 20 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. So after you work those problems out, you get the values. So for the kettle, it's about 864 kilojoules of energy needed to heat up that aluminum tea kettle. And then to heat up the water, it's about 398 kilojoules. To get your final answer of how much heat is added for the whole system, you have to add up those two values. So your final actual answer would be the Q total of adding up the two numbers, and you'd get about uh, 1,262 kilojoules. Another type of common problem you'll see is um, one like this. So if you have 60 grams of water at 80 degrees Celsius, it's mixed in a isolated container with 40 grams of water at 30 degrees Celsius. What's the final temperature after you mix up the two? So an important thing to remember with this type of problem, it's a little different. We're gonna have some energy loss in one part and energy gain in another part. And that's the way I wrote up here. Um, so the energy lost, which system is losing energy? That's this first one, that's this one right here. You have 60 grams of water at 80 degrees Celsius. It's mixing with 30 degrees Celsius water. That set of water is going to lose energy. And this other set of water down here is going to gain energy from the 80 degrees Celsius water. So they're going to mix up. One's going to lose. One's going to gain. And we'll call that Q1 and Q2. What's good is that the amount of energy loss is equal to the amount of energy gained. It balances out. And that's what we're going to take advantage of to solve this problem. So again, you have a drop in temperature in one, increase in temperature in another. We're gonna take advantage of that. So we're still using Q is equal to MC delta T. We're still using that same thing. We just have to set up a little differently. So Q1 here is 60 grams times the specific heat of water. We saw the specific heat of water in the previous problem. Now, the change in temperature is a little different here because the question is, what's the final temperature? So that's a little tricky because we have to look that in that first set for the Q1, the first set where it's 60 grams of water, 80 degrees Celsius, it starts at 80 and it's going to lower its temperature. So take that into account when you're figuring out um, what to plug in where as far as that change in temperature. The 80 degrees Celsius is losing energy. So it's gonna be 80 minus X, which is gonna be our answer, X. And the Q2, this is for the second system of water, the 40 grams at 30 degrees. Same specific heat value, we can just plug that right in, times 40 grams. 
This is a little different again. The 40 grams of water is gaining energy. It's gaining some heat from the other set of water. So it's X minus 30. Now, once you have this set up and you know that um, you got to put X or 80 minus X and X minus 30, and you can reason that out a little bit, it's pretty easy from here because again, they're equal to each other. So once you set them up as equal to each other, you can just uh, you know, solve the problem. In this one, it's 60 degrees Celsius. So these are just two common, private, common types of specific heat problems, and I hope this was helpful.